So uh, we are in a position where nothing has changed in, in our open enrollment. It's important to reflect that, that nothing has changed in terms of uh, the subsidies and assistance people can get to have affordable care. And the second thing is we believe our position is the position um, that is correct and accurate. When I travel to states, when I am in, uh, you know, one is in New York and then one is in Florida. The idea that the Congress intended for the people of New York to receive these benefits for affordable care but not uh, necessarily the people of Florida, I think we believe we have the right position and that is what we're doing. With regard to our planning and focus right now, it is back to the four things I just described previously with a special emphasis and focus right now on open enrollment and making sure as many folks as we can have that access and enroll in affordable coverage. Potentially hundreds of thousands or millions of people could lose access to subsidies if the court rules a certain way. Are you not having any conversations or doing any contingency planning in the event that the court rules not in your favor? What we're doing right now is, uh, as I said, focus deeply on what we're, what is in front of us right now, and that is the open enrollment period. And focused on that as well as the Medicaid expansion and the other issues, because we believe that we are in a place where uh, our argument and our position will prevail. I'm going to stick with where I am. We are focused on open enrollment, and we are focused on the issue of that we have a position that we believe is the position that will prevail.